sitting on the floor means an unboxing is happening. Oh, there she is. Okay, update on the phone. He ended up needing a pair of crutches and a boot. You guys. If you know me, you might know what sitting on the floor means. Sitting on the floor means an unboxing is happening. And Delta's gonna be my my helper. I decided to get something today. Delta, call it down. And I'm super excited to unbox with you guys today. It is the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I love it. I don't even have it open yet and I love it. I went ahead and got the iPhone Pro 13 Max in the gold color. I already have the 12 Pro in the gold color so I wanted to stay with the gold color and I went on this morning to the app and I just was like looking to see what kind of phones they had and if they had it availability and they had it at my local mall available for this afternoon's pickup and I was like um yes. So I went ahead and got it today after work and I don't know if you guys have ever participated in a launch day event like that from Apple but this was my first launch day and I can tell you that I was not prepared. These were the lines uh, leading up to the Apple store. I did set up you know the time to come in and like get my product but it seemed like they were just using like a regular queue line rather than like an appointment time slot because everybody was literally just just in a line and just waiting to go up to the front. Of course I got some accessories. I didn't get accessories from I the, um, the, I'm, uh, the I store. I didn't get any accessories from Apple but I did get accessories accessories from um, Amazon. I got some Prime Now stuff and I got a phone case from Target that is a Kate Spade phone case and I will show you guys what that looks like as well. But let's go ahead and open the phone. Welcome to the floor. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox it now and open it with you guys. So there is no more plastic on the box. As you can see, this is exactly how they give it to you now, but they do have these cool little pull tabs in place of the plastic, you know, trying to save the world and all that good stuff. Let's see it. Oh, there she is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and take my 12 Pro out of the case just so we can give a little bit of comparison. The 12 Pro definitely has more of like a pink gold and this seems more like a white gold or like a true gold color. I don't know if that makes any sense, but this is the size difference. Let's turn it around here. The cameras are huge. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell, but holy crap, the cameras are huge. The cameras are huge, <laughs> holy moly. And in general, just the phone is obviously, it's the, the Pro Max, so it is a much bigger phone. Let's get this baby going. satisfying. I love it. And of course in the case or in the box just comes the lightning charger. No brick just like last year's and the 11. And then of course there is the infamous Apple sticker. Very few instructions and a SIM card release. The good thing about these are they actually don't have a physical SIM so you actually don't need this key. All right here is the phone oh my gosh i already have fingerprints on it but i did get a um screen protector from amazon and this is the case i'm gonna put on it with a little pop socket on the back so i'm gonna go ahead and power it on oh and there she is oh so beautiful so i'm gonna go ahead and get the phone set up with like the transfer and everything and then i'll be back oh hello i just love that it's so satisfying. Oh, just so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna set it up. Okay, it's time to set up Face ID. <laughs> face ID is now set up. So there are two options. There's one to transfer the data over Wi-Fi and download from the iCloud. And then the other one is to transfer everything over from the phone. So it just like copy and paste. That's the one that I chose and it's gonna take about an hour and 15 minutes is what it said. So I'll be back. Eventually. Okay, update on the phone. It is still doing a transfer thing. I already put the case on. I have a screen protector. It's too small, but it's on there. But I have about nine minutes left of transferring data. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. But this has been running since about seven o'clock, and now it is 10 o'clock. So it has been running for 
quite some time now, but I will tell you that the refresh rate on this phone is amazing. I haven't been able to take pictures yet with it because I've literally just been letting it do its thing and like run, but I'm gonna have to test out the pictures maybe tomorrow because I will have my 12 Pro and the 13 Pro Max to kind of like compare and contrast for a little bit. For right now, I have a baby shower to go to tomorrow, so I've gotta like take a shower. I worked today, so I'm tired, but I'm just gonna let the phone do its thing for a little while longer, but I wanted to give you guys an update because it is going to be the next day before we get to go and test the pictures and the quality and stuff. So I'm gonna go to bed, but I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Good morning vlog. It is the next day. I thought this would be a perfect time to try out the new phone and uh, all its capabilities. So right now I'm vlogging on my regular camera, which is the Canon M6 Mark II, but I am gonna switch to the iPhone 13 and do the cinematic mode and see what that looks like. Obviously it's gonna sound a little weird, but I just wanna see the difference in the comparison, so let's see. All right, so this is cinematic mode and I think it looks really good. I'm standing in front of a really, really good window right now, so I've got a beautiful light source. And just for comparison, I'm just gonna have my camera and we're just gonna do a little comparison back and forth. Now, obviously I don't have the bokeh in the wide angle lens, so the bokeh is really coming out in the um, iPhone 13, but I think I look really good. It makes me highlighted very well and the picture quality is nice, so I like it. I'm not gonna lie to you. It has been quite some time since I vlogged last. By the way, I'm on my iPhone 13 uh, Pro Max and it is on cinematic mode, so. I let the phone do its thing and I just kind of let it update. It turned into like a really wild night. <laughs> uh, Tristan hurt his foot at school on Friday. We saw how bad it actually was, ended up taking him to the uh, emergency doctor. He ended up needing a pair of crutches and a boot and like a buddy wrap is what they call it to keep him from moving his toe. They did take x-rays. They said it's not broken, but they want him to see an orthopedic um, foot doctor this week, this coming week, um, just to like confirm everything that they saw and make sure that everything is okay. So we have to call and make that appointment this week. So that was, a crazy thing in itself, like just completely unexpected and something that we didn't see coming, obviously. And so we had planned on going to Disney today, hence the Mickey shirt, but um, the more we thought about it, we were just gonna go for the fireworks to see the last fireworks show because they are retiring the um, Happily Ever After uh, show. And so we were gonna go see them today, but it's like six o'clock, the fireworks are at 8.15, and we were thinking maybe we'll just go on our actual wedding anniversary and just go and bring Tristan, that way we don't have to worry about um, like a wheelchair or anything like that. Cause I don't know, you know, it's it's just gonna be a completely different, different experience than what he's used to obviously being in crutches and being in a wheelchair, all that stuff. So I think we're gonna wait. Uh, right now I am uh, testing out the cinematic mode again on the 13 Pro Max. I will be honest with you, um, the phone is really big and I don't think I was expecting such like a dramatic change from the 12 Pro to the 13 Pro Max. Like the Max is just such a beefy phone. Like it literally is just so freaking beefy. I just don't think I was prepared enough for it. <laughs> I remember coming from my 11 Pro Max and like that one wasn't as bad because it had like the beveled edge. Like that's whenever they had the curved edges, but ever since they introduced that hard edge and the 12, um, it, it, they feel very, very thick in your hand. So um, I did contact Apple this morning just to see what the return policy was. And they said that you have 14 days whenever you first buy the phone, which is how long they gave me to send back my original phone. I actually brought my original phone home, as you guys know. And so I still have my original phone, the iPhone 12 Pro, and I have the 12 Pro Max, or the 13 Pro Max. So I have 14 days to decide basically if I'm gonna return the iPhone 12 or the iPhone 13 Pro Max, or if I'm going to to send in my 12 Pro as like the collateral money for this new loan and the new uh, 12 or the 13 Pro Max. So I'm not sure yet what I wanna do. I have been trying to use the 13 Pro Max as like my main phone. The 12 Pro does have like service on it because I am connected to the Wi-Fi. So it'll be a good uh, test for the sound too. Cause Manny's mowing the grass. I don't know if you can hear that or not. You probably can. But anyway, so yeah, it's really the reach on the phone. Like my thumb reach is weird. My hand is like 
halo-y. <laughs> like whenever I hold the phone in my hand, it's difficult for me to reach across the whole screen and almost impossible to reach from top to bottom. So it's just taking some getting used to, honestly, and I don't know if I want to get used to it or if I wanna just say, you know what, I was perfectly comfortable with the 12 and let's just go with the 13 Pro. So we'll have to see because that's the option. The option is I can return the 13 Pro Max get the 13 Pro when it comes in stock and just keep my 12 Pro because I I thankfully have my 12 Pro still to go back to. I just have to see. But for today, um, we're not gonna go to Disney. We're just gonna have a relaxed day here. Let's go try out the low light on the cinematic mode and talk to Tristan. Daisy, stay, stay. I don't tell her to stay. I'm afraid she's gonna jump off the bed and that won't be good. But let's test out. So I'm in the hallway and there's like barely any light here. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's telling me more light required, which is nice because light's required. And this bedroom is very dark. Tristan has no lights on. Whoa. Just went really, really orange, but now we're good. I just wanted to say hi and see how the cinematic mode looks. How are you in your foot? It was an so. interview. No, it's just, no, I'm not interviewing you. I'm just asking you how you're doing with well, your foot. Feels like an interview. Well, I'm just asking you. Those are his crutches he got yesterday. They, get, they can't focus because it's not a face. Well, no, it's in the background. The crutches. Yeah. How does it do with both of us? Does it detect both of our faces? I think, I think it does, but it kind of looks like because you're behind me, it wants to only see one of our faces. Yeah, let's get our faces together. Yeah, now I can see both of us. Yeah. I just came in here to see how you're doing and also show you the cinematic view on the front view because now you can't see me at all. But the good thing is, is in post-production, which is after it's already filmed, I can go in and I can tap my face so that they can see me too or tap your face and so that they can see you. Or tap both of our faces. I don't know if we can do that. Nope, you can only tap one at a time. I wish it was like that. Yeah, me too. Anyway, I'm glad you're feeling better with your little toe. Enjoy your Fortnite. And um, I mean, I'm just, I'm just looking to see what you're doing. You're just relaxing. So that was a good little test to see what this thing is capable of. It's telling me again, more light required, which is cool. That I, I like that it gives that little notification, like, hey, you're in a really dark area. It's not gonna work well. But anyway, so we are just going to have a relaxing day, chilling at the house. I will put a few side-by-side -side pictures of the 12 Pro and the 13 Pro Max, just so you guys can see the comparison on top of this cinematic view, which is like the biggest update that they've had. Obviously, this is the, the selling point of the phone, why I bought the phone, so yeah. And I will let you know if I decide to keep the 13 Pro Max or if I go to the 13 Pro by itself. Either way, you guys will know. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this little unboxing, little vlog together. If you have got the 13, let me know in the comments down below. If you plan to get the 13, let me know in the comments down below. If you don't plan on updating, that's fine. Let me know in the comments down below. Either way, it's all good. Anyway, guys, I love you so much. I hope you have a wonderful night and I will see you in the next one. Bye.